Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to show you the part 2 of the my first video Google uh, Cloud Data Prop uh, video. Uh, this is this video. Uh, what I'm going to do today is that uh, on that particular video what I did was uh, how to work with the batch serverless uh, jobs uh, submission. But today I'm going to show you how to you can do the same thing using the cluster. So first of all, uh, let's uh, start creating a cluster. And then we are going to submit a Spark job and PySpark job. That's the plan for today. Don't worry guys, I'm going to give the all the codes and everything. And uh, creating a, a jar file, everything is, is available in this YouTube video which I uploaded a couple of weeks back. I'm going to share the link for that video in the description section so that you can go there and create the uh, jar file using Scala SPT. Uh, okay, so let's start with uh, uh, first of all creating the cluster. Okay, I'm going to create a cluster in the compute engine, not the Kubernetes cluster. Okay, so I'm going to name it as so my cluster, so just to be easier. Um, and then for uh, my uh, here we are going to use a single node because we want to reduce the cost basically and this work is not uh, uh, going to consume a lot of time and good of resources there's a uh, lot of resources on there here and nothing else to change so we are we're not going to do a try any of those uh, uh, anaconda or hbase uh, pesto anything here so we are not going to change anything and here we are going to reduce this to two uh, CPU and one 8 GB RAM. So that's more than enough. And for our case, uh, uh, we give a hundred uh, GB as well because it's a simple example. So we don't need uh, uh, massive computing power or, or the storage. Nothing else. You're not going to change any of those guys, these guys, and then go to the next one. Uh, nothing to add here. We don't want to like schedule uh deleting or anything because uh, anyway uh, we are going to delete uh, everything after we done with the work so uh let's give us a backup one uh, uh, yes select a backup bucket for any staging area for anything uh this this is important when you're running the code so the jobs to backup when they're running configured file so manage security we are not going to do any encryption so anything only default one so let's click on the you can use a command line also you can get the same thing command line or you can do a so you just can click on the uh, let's show this is the command line so if you want to copy and run just from the command line i'm just going to click on the create button here okay guys this is going to take a bit of a time so let me explain uh, what's the plan for today uh, in terms of what's going to do so basically the plan is to uh, 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 plan is the code what it the code's going to do is that uh, uh, this is the small code that the same code that i use in the previous example it has a small data frame creations and it show will show that data in the log log data and then uh, load the uh, particular uh, say, uh, small uh, readers uh, CSV file uh, from the bucket uh, where you have lo loaded in uh, in the like uh, in the bucket location, and uh, then uh, you load it to a uh, Google uh, uh, BigQuery. Uh, that's a small task, I think. Uh, that's something that I normally do in my work as well. So that. And uh, if I go to book BigQuery, uh, this is the table. So first of all, uh, it's already has data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go uh, query and then uh, uh, just delete truncate table and then just run it so that there won't be any data. Uh, okay, that's done. So let's check whether we have data. Uh, so if I select this one and then let's limit the, and there won't be any data guys because we just run it. And uh, when you are creating the, uh, when you are creating the 
uh, when you're running the code basically you need to create my schema in the table so one thing you can do is like uh, go create here but uh, normally what I do is like uh, if it's a large file I use a sample set of data to create so the best option now to go create table and then upload the CSV file from here uh, so in my case I'm gonna upload it from uh, just let me select the same CSV file uh, from here and then uh, just uh, give us a name for the tables test or whatever test 3 and then scheme auto direct uh, detection and then uh, go to advanced option make sure you select uh, head rows because we have headers and then just create table that, that way you don't have to like uh, create a scheme or anything and then you just can go there and uh, delete that uh, um, go to the table and uh, what you can you just truncate the table so you don't have a scheme already uh, created uh, okay guys let's check whether the cluster is done no uh, still going to in the creation mode guys so the meantime what I'm going to do is that uh, I'm going to start uh, I'm going to do the, this uh, in a command line as well so let me get my cow cloud shell running so you can do this actually from here okay our cluster is running guys so uh, let me show the detail um, this is a VM detail if you want to do SSH you can open this on uh, and then SSH it as well if you wanted to access it. Uh, I'm not going to do that, guys. So uh, our uh, main intention here to like uh, run a job and see how is uh, uh, we can run it uh, a job. So basically, uh, there are two few ways you can submit a job. One is from here. You can go and uh, go here and start submitting it. Uh, uh, submit job like here. Oh, otherwise you can go jobs and then from here you can select a job so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna first uh, run a small hello world job so I'm gonna create uh, select my cluster that I created and then uh, spark I'm gonna select spark and then the location so this is another important thing guys um, when you create a Java file you have a main class uh, I have explained that in my other YouTube video uh, what's a class a main class so basically he if I go to uh, our file again you can see this is the package dot com and then the main so you're basically saying com dot example dot main so that's the same thing that we are uh, giving here class name and then the location of the class uh, Java file so that I have already uploaded to Google uh, cloud storage so you need to upload your uh, Java file to cloud storage and then take the path and then we just gonna paste it here this is a, just a hello world job so let's submit it okay so it's gonna say hello world here it's gonna take a couple of seconds Yeah, it's uh, run successfully, guys. Okay, um, let me start uh, doing the next job. Uh, so this is the next job I'm gonna submit. Uh, uh, if you go to information now, just to show you guys that whether the job is success successful. If you come here, it shows it's successful. Uh, okay, uh, and then we go here, and then let's start submitting another job. So I'm going to select the same thing and I'm going to submit uh, Spark and then uh, the same class name because I have the same name for the both file and then I need to get the jar file. So I can, uh, I'm going to give this uh, big query one. Uh, uh, this is the one version. Uh, uh, don't worry guys, this jar file creations available here in this video i'm going to share in the description so you can create it and upload it your, yourself uh, so let me copy this one and then um, go and submit here 
that's it guys so what this particular job going to do is that uh, upload the uh, data uh, like, like I explained up to uh, CSV file data to here uh, okay let me submit the job So it's going to take a bit of a time guys because uh, this is uh, not a hello world job. Okay, it's running. Let me show you uh, everything. Okay, this is just the first part of the code. Uh, uh, just creating a data frame. Uh, and then it's running okay this is the data frame that they created uh, the data it's going to load it it's just showing there because i have uh, coded in such a way that to show that data frame in the uh, code uh, okay guys our job is completed let Let's check whether the job is completed. Uh, job detail. Let's go to job. Yes, our job is successful. So if the job is successful, our uh, big Google BigQuery table should get updated. Yes, guys, that's you can see that uh, it's all already updated, guys. Here. Okay. So now let's do the same job using the command prompt because that's really important guys to do that so let me log into project project uh, in uh, when you're using the command from one way you can from here also you can activate it uh, i have a like a cloud shell so that uh, separate one uh, which is a bit easier and i'm going to select my project and then i'm going to directly run the code guys so um so uh, i'm not going to type it here i'm just going to copy paste uh, in order to save the time this is the hello world job so don't worry guys i'm going to give the basic uh, structure of the uh, command as well in the uh, youtube uh, description section uh, uh, and you can find it this in the google documentation as well so it's not a big thing uh, guys let's submit the job so i'm going to authorize it yes waiting for output so there would be a new job sub uh, starting now. Can you see guys it's starting again? That's a hello world job. Let's uh, uh, go and we can see the same results. Yeah, the same thing. Uh, so similarly, what uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete the again, uh, truncate the data from the, the Google BigQuery. And then if I go, there won't be any results. Uh, I'm going to run the same uh, uh, BigQuery job as well to just to show you guys. This is Spark. Uh, let's start uh, the new job started guys. let me check that might be the old one still yeah it's starting yeah it's running it will take a couple of second guys uh, uh, it should not take a long time because it's only 35 seconds job small one small csc file to complete it's successful so we have we should have the data so another thing uh, we i wanted so i run both this uh, spark job so i wanted to show you how to run uh, spark uh, pi, pi spark job as well this is a simple uh, uh, pi spark job just to say show the data frame creating and everything uh, don't worry guys this code also is available in uh, google uh, sorry uh, rather uh, uh, github and then i'm going to share the link so don't worry about that uh that also the same thing guys so 
only difference going to be uh, I'm, when I'm going to submit the job. So there are two way to submit. Uh, one uh, like uh, one is that uh, you can go here and job and submit a job and cluster you can select your cluster and here select by spark and then uh, the file so the my spark file is in uh, location you go and then select your PySpark file so this is it's a python file basically and you're gonna go here and submit it that's it nothing else no uh, class uh, main uh, class or anything and then just submit it so it's just gonna uh, create a data frames uh, guys nothing uh, uh, very important I didn't create a same similar to Google BigQuery upload or anything like that uh, because uh, uh, you guys already know about uh, how to create a spark uh, same job in PySpark as well so let's take a bit of time guys to run let's wait a couple of seconds it should be done any minute okay uh, Wait a couple of seconds. Uh, it's just finishing up, I think, guys. So still running. Okay, it's just completed, guys. It's just a small uh, creating a data frame here, and you can run the same uh, job in uh, from the command uh, uh, from as well. So the only difference going to be uh, here. It says uh, PySpark. That's it. Uh, let's submit the job guys let me submit the job so it's going to create a job here again so the new job start so uh, that's basically it guys uh, so nothing uh, uh, very difficult to do or a very simple task so what I'm going to do is now uh, when the task is completed, make sure that uh, uh, you delete your cluster because that can be very costly for you if you keep running your cluster. So what you can do is that uh, when the task is completed, uh, you can uh, uh, go to, uh, okay, let's uh, wait, uh, let me wait till completing the cluster. So. So what you can do is uh, I'm going to go here and you can just click here to delete cluster so then you can delete your work. So uh, that's all in uh, this video guys. Let me know if you want more video on uh, uh, data proc uh, uh, section. Uh, I can create more. Um, thank you guys for watching.